Welcome to activity deactivating the portal. Uh, we are at the beginning of the section of uh, Learn to Code 2 called Types. Make sure that you look through the introduction uh, activity in here and once or twice. This is an important chapter, uh, so you're going to want to be sure you understand everything that's in the introduction uh, chapter. Right now we're going to be working on deactivating the portal. In this activity, we need to get Byte to uh, turn on all of the switches, and they're in the three uh, other opposing corners from Byte here. Um, so uh, it looks like, uh, of course, what we usually ask ourselves is what do we need to keep track of? And the first thing, it looks like we're going to need to keep track of maybe the total number of switches here so that we make sure to turn them all off. So I'm going to start by saying maybe let uh, total switches equal three so that we know once we have our three switches toggled that uh, we're done. And then maybe we should look at this and see if there is any way we can break down this puzzle into manageable pieces. Uh, if I look in here, it looks like there's some symmetry to this scene. Uh, for example, um, you might think, well, uh, if we move Byte all the way across and toggle this switch over here, uh, right in front of us, uh, then it's going to be difficult for us to turn around and go catch the one on the left and the switch on the right. So let's think of a different plan here. Maybe if we um, walk forward to the center of the maze and turn right, and come toggle the switch in front of us and then turn byte around he'll be set to go do it all again he can uh, then repeat that same maneuver which is move forward three steps uh, to the center point turn right move forward three sp steps and then he'll toggle this switch when he turns around he's ready to go again move forward three steps to the center turn right Move forward three steps, toggle this switch, and turn around. He's ready to do it again. Of course, by that time, all the switches will be will be uh, on, and he'll be done with the activity. So uh, let's give this a try here. It sounds like we uh, may want some uh, functions here that will help us um, uh, do things a little more easily. Like, uh, for example, move forward three steps is something we do a lot here. So Let's go ahead and uh, make a function that moves forward three steps. So I'm going to say func move three. And inside there, all we're going to do is move forward once, move forward twice, and move forward three times. Another thing we said we'd like to do is when we get to um, the switch and we toggle it on we're going to want to then turn around so we've done this in the past and uh, that's simply saying let's make a function called turn around and all turn around does is either turn left tw twice or turn right twice so I'll say turn left and turn left there's my turnaround function. Okay. Um, let's see. So the other thing we said we're going to do, we're going to do something. We're going to do this procedure um, three times. We're going to go find this switch, then find this switch, and then find this switch. So maybe I'll make a function that um, moves forward three, turns right, moves forward three, toggles a switch, and then turn around, because that function will need to do that same exact thing three times. Uh, let's try that. So func, um, good thing to call this might be uh, find and toggle switch. Okay, so find and toggle switch from any point where he's on one of these uh, endpoints uh, of the uh, of the maze here. He's going to move forward three times. So we have a function that does that, and it's called move three. 
So if I move byte forward three, he'll be in the center of the maze. And then we'll just <clears throat> say turn right. And now he'll be facing um, this uh, other uh, wing of the maze here. And he can move three again. Move three again. Now he'll be standing on the switch. So we can just uh, uh, say we don't even have to ask if he's on the switch here because we know every time if he moves forward three, turns right, moves forward three, he'll be on a switch. So let's just go ahead and toggle the switch. And then finally, uh, and this is the key here because uh, Byte will be facing us at this point, we need to get him to turn around so that he's ready to do this function all over again, find and toggle switch. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and have him turn around then. Our function turn around will take care of that. All right. So right now we have one variable uh, called total switches, and we have three functions. Uh, this function will move forward three times. It's called move three. The second function, turn around, will turn byte around 180 degrees. And then our third function, find and toggle switch, is the one which will move forward three, turn right, move forward three, toggle the switch, and turn around so that he's ready to go again. Now at this point, um, we should probably test some things. We've written a lot of code, and it's a good idea to uh, test your uh, some of your functions here. So let's go ahead and um, call find and toggle switch, our last uh, function here, and see if it works fine. So find and toggle switch. We'll call find and toggle switch, and let's see if byte, uh, if byte does his thing and goes and toggles this switch right here. Okay, so press run code. One, forward, two, forward, three, forward, and whoops. Okay, so uh, Byte has gotten uh, stuck here on this little island, and he's still trying to execute our algorithm, but he's stuck on this island because he went through this green portal here. And, uh, okay, that's great. So we're going to need to do some... Um, debugging here. And in this case, what we'd like to do is probably uh, the instructions uh, help us out here. And they say, first thing we need to do is to deactivate the green portal. And let's talk a little bit about what uh, this portal is for a minute here. Um, you know, we have types in Swift like int and bool and uh, string and double and so on. Um, but uh, Swift doesn't come with a portal type. So uh, what happened is um, the user, uh, sorry, the creators of this particular activity needed a portal. They needed some kind of a way to represent a portal. And in fact, they probably need ways to represent lots of different portals, like they might have green portals or red portals or blue portals, and they might do different things. Um, so they had to make what we're going to say is a custom type. They had to create their own type, uh, a portal type. And each portal that they put in the maze will be an instance of, uh, of the portal type. And in this case, there's only one instance of the portal type, and it's this green portal here. And up at the very top of the code here, uh, in this line, it says uh, green portal dot is active equals true. And what that means is that uh, a portal has a property uh, which is a boolean, true or false, and the property in this case is called is active. So if a portals, if an instance of a portal is active is equal to true, then your byte can uh, traverse through the portal and go to some new place in the maze. Um, but if we set it to false, then uh, that portal will be inactive. So that's what we need to do here, and the portal that we need to set uh, its active property to be false is the green portal. So we need to do that before we find and toggle our switch down here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey green portal, set your is active property equal to false. That way uh, the portal will be inactive and byte will not uh, fall through it and he'll execute the rest of the algorithm. So. Let's try this now again and run our code. Send, send byte back to the beginning. 
He's going to move forward one, two, three, and now he's standing on the inactive portal, and he turns right. He moves forward one, two, three. He toggles the switch, and he executes his turnaround function. Okay? So that's all working great. This is exactly what we wanted, because now Byte can go ahead and do find and toggle switch two more times, a total of three times, and he'll be done with this. So, of course, we should probably uh, put this in a loop, since we know it's going to be the same thing repeated. And the number of times we want to do this is uh, this variable total switches up here. We need to do it three times, or total switches number of times. Okay? Uh, that's good coding practice, because if sometime we find a maze that, say, has five different wings on it that we need to uh, toggle the switches for, we can just change our value here, total switches to be five, and this will still work just fine. So let's go ahead and put this find and toggle switch in a loop so that uh, Byte will find all three uh, switches and toggle them. So uh, for, say, I in one, two, uh, and I could put three in here, but since we already used our total, we defined our total switches um, constant up there, let's go ahead and do that. So we have a for loop that goes from i equals uh, one to total switches, and I need to make sure that my find and toggle switch command is inside that, so I'm going to drag this brace down here and put the find and toggle switch right inside there. Okay, now that looks like it should work here. Um, let's go ahead and run the code and see what happens. So we're going to call our first uh, time find and toggle switch, which itself calls move three, and it moved forward three, turned right, move forward three again, toggle the first switch, Turn around. There goes Byte. He's called find and toggle switch again. Finds the second switch, toggles it. Turn around. And it calls find and toggle switch for the third and last time, which says move forward three, turn right, move forward three, toggle switch, and turn around. And that should make Byte happy. It does. Okay, let's uh, really quick, if you want to watch this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this with the, I'm going to try to get as much code on the screen as I can, and I'm going to go ahead and run this by stepping through the code, just so you can see all these different functions being called and the for loop happening. And I might do this uh, a little bit uh, faster here. So here goes the code. Um, Green portal is getting set to be, uh, its active property is getting set to be false. It calls find and toggle switch the first time, which calls move forward. Each move forward moves there. Then there's a turn right, and then we call move three again, which moves forward three times. Back into find and toggle switch, which toggles the switch, and now turn around gets called. Just turn left and turn left. And now we're back in the for loop for the second iteration of find and toggle switch which calls move three, byte moves three, turn right, then move three gets called again. Back into find and toggle switch to toggle the switch and turn around. The function turn around gets called, which is just two turn lefts, and we're back to the final time of find and toggle switch, which calls move three, Back into find and toggle switch, turn right, move three. Back into find and toggle switch, which toggles the switch, and turn around gets called turn left two times. And now we go back to the loop, and there's no more times to run this third final time. So Byte finishes and does his dance. Okay, see you next time.